Jog Vlog. In my Netflix viewing, I decided to watch their new series, Stranger Things. I completed the whole first season of Stranger Things. And though I feel, and this is repeating myself here, that a series is not something you necessarily review. You may look at a particular episode, but what if one's weak, one's great, how you review a series? Uh, but diving into this, I'll give you my evaluation of Stranger Things. First off, I'll say, yeah, I thought it was good, it was okay. I wasn't terribly impressed. I didn't think it was great. Then I go hop on IMDB, where surely enough, the users of that site have voted it up to being the 20th best TV show ever made. And I'm just thinking, of course they did. So set in 1983, Stranger Things is about this little community where there's these kids, that, you know, they're kind of the geek outsiders. They play Dungeons and Dragons. Late one night, one of them is heading home from the from the game. It gets attacked by this thing, goes missing. People go looking for him. Another girl goes missing. Then this uh, girl with like a shaved head shows up and befriends the kids. Stays in one of them's house. They uh, find out she has powers. She can communicate, find the, the missing kid, Will. Uh, they learn that he's still alive, but he's in this place they're calling the Upside Down. It's like a alternate dimension. Will's mom is Winona Ryder. She's kind of going nuts looking for him. She hears him talking to him like through the electricity. Eventually the sheriff in town catches wind of how, how this is going on. Heads to the facility, this energy place where they were doing experiments on the the girl who uh, escaped. Her name's Eleven. They call her L sometimes. Starts to believe the crazy mom. And uh, eventually they team up with the boys in Eleven. And they go up against the bad government men, you know, these energy dudes. Go into the world that is the upside down. The creature ends up getting pulled into reality and seemingly can enter and exit our reality, our dimension, as it pleases. It's drawn to blood. Shoot, what was that? There's some giant insects around here. Eleven ends up sacrificing herself to take down the creature, which already took out like all the government people, in Department of Energy, what have you. And you know, that works out for them, right? You know, everybody misses Eleven, but it's nice to have Will back. Check in like a few months later, it's Christmas time. I don't know if you call him the main kid or not, hell, I can't remember his name. But his sister is uh, dating this douchebag guy and, you know, geeky photographer kid. Will's older brother kind of hits on her a little bit, or he, he seems to be into her. But yeah, they don't actually get together. But uh, you know, there's a little bit of redemption there for the boyfriend giving him a, giving a, a, the older brother guy, you know, a new camera because he, he'd actually smashed it earlier. Everything seems to be kind of resolved. Sheriff seems to be holding some hope out that Elle is out there. She eats ego waffles, left her some egos out in the wild. And that's that. Why was I not terribly impressed with this? Well, I know the tricks, guys. The whole thing is a psychological trick. So this is from the Duffer Brothers. I'm unfamiliar with them. They appear to be a couple of 80 kids like myself. And they're thinking, hey, we like the 80s. Our core audience likes the 80s for this. Make it 80s. Set in 1983 for why? Oh, just so we can throw in nostalgia appeals. We have an opening shot that shows the stars above and we tilt down. That's supposed to remind the audience of E.T., the extraterrestrial. The series even ends that way with the same shot. Again, you're supposed to bring into mind, hey, I like E.T., I like this. That's the idea. People walking through the dark with flashlights, E.T. Kid befriending, uh, something with powers, E.T. Physics teacher, somebody. He's watching The Thing on TV with a date. Why is he doing that? 
to remind you that you like the thing and the people who made this like the thing and you're supposed to compare the rather shitty creature in this show to the great stuff in The Thing. Remember the truffle shuffle? Uh, the fat kid in the group's kind of prodded into humiliating himself. Same thing here. He's got, he's got like a shoulder popping technique. Same gimmick. Remind you of the Goonies. You like the Goonies? You're going to like this. It's all the nostalgia appeals. You're expected to like the same thing these people like. They associate themselves with it. And now you must like this new stuff as well. And that's the trick. I think there's something like more despicable about Stranger Things. And that is the casting of Natalia Dwyer. This girl is so alarmingly thin. Bulimic, anorexic combination of the two. That any responsible producer should have said, Hey, you're off the show. Like we cannot be having someone on our team that is going to be subjecting herself to this. Her character was not played up as the skinny bitch. There's no reference to her being too thin or it being dangerous. No, it was a poor choice to have her there in the first place. Now, Stranger Things, I found enjoyable enough I may check out a second season. It left a lot of stuff unanswered. Oh, well, there'll be a second season to answer questions. Oh, real there? Okay, so they're gonna explain the creature, huh? Why there's only one thing that exists in the Upside Down and it, and it kills and eats things in our world. So what the hell was it eating the whole time it lived in the Upside Down, huh? Oh, well, they'll explain that later. Sure they will, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure they'll get around to explaining that shit. How come when L would, uh, would enter like with her mind to try to read other people, she'd go to a completely dark area. What is that? That's the only thing she knew of. She didn't know about the Upside Down. It would seem as though her reference to the Upside Down should be that. That'd make a lot of sense. But I gotta commend them for sticking to the, the 80s motif. Uh, there's only really one point where, now I was looking for anachronisms in cars, clothing and the like. Only really one point that kind of got me and it was semi non-diegetic music played at the end of the second episode. A hazy shade of winter covered by the Bengals. Not actually released until 1987. You know, but that's my survey of it. I thought Stranger Things is okay. And at this point, grossly overrated. Like, comment, share, follow, subscribe. Von Jog Vlog is made possible by your support on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Vaughn Fry. Because fuck Google.